<coughs> Interco, it's a very well-known company, but what is it you do here? Yeah. Uh, we started the company in 1976, mainly for the aluminium industry, uh, aluminium extrusion industry, and uh, over the years uh, we've got into different types of work, pharmaceutical, we do some uh, aerospace work, and on top of that, because we were working in the aluminium extrusion industry, we did get into um, selling tool steels, of which now we offer a big range of um, tool steels, titaniums, in canals, mm -hmm. super duplexes, um, as a company which we can saw with CNC saws and, and uh, supply. And you've got lots of technology. I just stood here next to this Mazak. I've never seen one this big before. No, uh, it was the first one in the country that Mazak managed to sell. I think there was one in Belgium before this, um, and I think they've now sold two into the oil and gas industry as well. But yeah, it's uh, it is a large machine that uh, we've had five, six years now, uh, which we can get work on up to sort of 2.3 metres in diameter. And I understand you work with Quick Grind. How do they help your company? Um, we used a lot of different carbide manufacturers in the past um, and then we started using quick grind to get some specialized form tools made for us um, we started getting into cutting a lot of uh, exotic materials pastelloids in canals uh, stainlesses and uh, we've just found that their cutters were just superior in tool tool longevity um, when we were machining on jobs which a lot of the work we couldn't afford to get dull tools while it was machining because the material work hardens and then it causes you a nightmare so yeah they uh, they helped us considerably and if, you, if they helped you in any other way I know they've got other options within their group of companies such as I know they help you out with programming for time to time yes we did uh, we did get into some work where we were, they were going to do some five axis programs for us. Uh, we have a uh, CAD and CAM system, but they seemed a lot more knowledgeable in the five axis side of things. So yeah, we, we called them in on their technical side of the company to help us out with the job. In terms of Interco again, what's the future hold? Continuing to grow, continuing to invest? Yes, we are investing all the time. We've not long bought some new machine tools uh, which we're in the process of tooling up. Um, obviously, with the with the steel sales as well, they're expanding this within the company. Um, and for a subcontract, I mean, we've we've sort of turned from a where the company just dealt with the aluminium extrusion industry. We now will work with oil and gas, aerospace, uh, and MOD work. Um, yeah, it's uh, put the investment in and you get the returns back. And just finally, it sounds like you're happy with Quick Grind. Are you going to continue to invest with that company? Yes, definitely. Yeah, they've helped us um, quite a few times now with their tooling, um, got us out of problems, and improved floor to floor times on work, which is what you're looking for at the end of the day because it helps on your profit line. Mike, we've just spoke with Wayne and they're over the moon with Quick Ryan. Yep. How long's the relationship been? Well, funny enough, uh, the relationship between the two owners has been, I think, like 50 years. Um, in the UK now, as the business develops, um, because, you know, we do 80% what we do is export. Um, aluminium extrusion industry, dye industry being the main thing. So, you know, in the UK, last sort of five years, it's been developing UK-wise. So. So within the last couple of years, two and a half years, we've been working with Interco a lot more um, and, and going really well, so yeah. What standard tools or bespoke tools? Both, yeah. Uh, initially it's sort of form tools uh, for specific jobs, you know, where they're looking to reduce cycle times or struggling with maybe inserted tools to, to get what they really needed. So we, we produce solid carbide round shank tooling, a um, lot of dovetails, a uh, lot of T-slots going in here, but then yeah, and then we're working a lot more on the, on the standard tooling. So we've got a range we call Bulldogs, which are a, a really a high-fee tool as well. Do they use any of your other services? 
Yeah, they use our Quick Cam Pro service. That's a department run by John Butler. Uh, they called us in a particular job that they needed to look at reducing cycle times on it. And um, the specialized tooling as well, we were able to save them something like 70% cycle time reduction. Um, so that went very well. They also use the remanufacturing servers. So uh, we, we re-grind our own tools and other tools. Obviously there's other tools in it being used in here as well. Um, now that's working very well for them as well, so that's a very good cost saving. And I believe we're about to go and look at the job you saved all that money on. Here we are, we can have a look at it now. Come on. So we've got a good selection of cutting tools here. What processes were they used on? The first tool is the Bulldog, this one here. That's a high feed tool. We, it's a standard tool, we, it's neck back. We do it in about five or six different sizes, but also we make bespoke tools for whatever job is required. So that was used to run around the periphery, periphery uh, roughing out. After that, this is a bespoke tool. It's a, obviously, if you call it like a, a T-slot. This had to run in over the top here to finish. Uh, you need a really good finish on this tool. This is a, a, a part that's come back, so this is not a finished part now. And um, after that, we, we had to use the Bulldog, uh, this um, bullnose tool, so our Zodiac, to produce the radius. Uh, what was important with the finishing tool, it, that overall helped us reduce the cycle time something like 70%. So that was a pretty good winner for us. 70%, that's a massive saving. Is that unique or is that something you achieve regularly? Uh, we, uh, yeah, it's something we achieve on a regular basis, whether it's 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, anything like that. It depends on the application, it depends on what the customer is needing us to, to, to do. Um, we obviously use a lot of standard tooling, 50% of what we sell is, is standard tooling. Uh, if we can, obviously we will push the customer towards a bespoke tool, which is a tool designed for the job. Um, and that way they get the best out of the, out of the tool and out of the job. Uh, yeah, we, we get called in a lot to, to look at cycle time reduction, which is where Quick Cam Pro comes in into its own. Uh, it's, it's, we can do optimized uh, cycle time reductions, tool paths, turnkey packages, it's a, it's a big part of us, our, our overall package. So Quick Grind has a, we call it an engineering circle. Uh, so we have Quick Grind, the overall cut company that owns the, the, all, all the group. Then we have the carbide cutting tools themselves. We have Quick Cam, it's the, so the, the, the tool path optimizations. We have Quick Edge, which is our remanufacturing service, which is a really good cost saving that everyone should be looking at. And we have Quick Vend, which is the vending machine the, uh, side of the business, which is, we like to say, it's, it's having tools local on a worldwide basis, because we do supply these, all our products, all our services worldwide, as well in the UK.